Hello, how are you today? This is Hina from Team Test here again with another set of question answers for the examination of GATE. Well, if you are liking my series and you want to have your own book of the same, you can order your book on this number right now, 93878-39871. In fact, you can also have an online course with Kalyani Ma'am or an online quiz by calling us on the same number. Okay, so let's begin today. Uh, five question answers with perfect explanation and everything good. I hope you like them. Let's begin question number one from Modernist Poetry. Identify the speaker in the epigraph of the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. T.S. Eliot's poem, very famous. Your options are A. Prufrock, B. Michelangelo or Michelangelo as we call him, C. Dante or D. Guido da Montefeltro. Come on, who's the speaker in the epigraph? You know it, it is option C. Dante. Well, what does this epigraph mention? It mentions a meeting between Dante and Guido da Montefeltro. Now, basically, Dante is asking Guido who is a character from the eighth circle of hell to listen to his story. Okay, did you get it? Yes, let's move on to question number two. A very famous movement. When did the kitchen sink realism movement develop? Your options are A, 1950s, B, 1960s, C, 1970s, or D, 1980s. Kitchen sink realism movement. You should know it. It is option A, 1950s. Well, this movement was actually a British cultural movement which developed in different fields like art, theater, films, etc. The protagonist of this kitchen sink, you know, movement was an angry young man, somebody who is disillusioned from society. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you know, do you know who coined this term, the kitchen sink? You know it, it is David Sylvester. He in fact wrote an article named the same, the kitchen sink. Did you get it? Yes, you did. Can we move on to question number three? Is it a bad hair day today? <laughs> okay. Question number three, listen to this. What was the profession of Harry in the snows of Kilimanjaro by Ernest Hemingway? Your options are A, painter, B, guitarist, C, writer, or D, badminton player. <laughs> Tell me the profession of Harry in the snows of Kilimanjaro. Well, it is option C, a writer. Well, you know, this is a short story by Ernest Hemingway, which was published in the year 1936. A synopsis about this story, it's about a man named Harry who has gone to Africa for a safari, okay, on a safari, where he gets punctured by a thorn and develops an infection in his leg, okay? Now, you must know this. Ernest in this The Snows of Kilimanjaro has used a very special technique, which is called as the flashback technique. You should read a little more about it. Okay, will you? Yes, you will. Can we move on to question number four? But before that, if you like my question answers and if you want to have your own book of the same for gate exam, you can call us on the number 93878-39871. You got it? Can we move on to the next question? Okay, it is question number four. A Reign of Rights is the poetry collection of... It's important, okay? Oh, your options are A, A.K. Ramanujan, B, Meena Kandasami, C, Arun Kolatkar, or D, Jayant Mahapatra. A Reign of Rights. It is is a poetry collection by Jayant Mahapatra. A little bit about Mahapatraji. Well, he is a very famous, a leading Indo-Anglican poet. He is a physics teacher by profession. And you know, he's also the first poet who won the Sahitya Academy Award for English poetry. In which year did he win it? 
1981. And for which work of his? The work's name was Relationship, published in 1980. Yes? Nice? Okay, let's move on to the next question and the last question of the day. Arrange the following in chronological order. Your options are 1. A course in general linguistics. 2. Principles of literary criticism. 3. The morphology of the folktale. Or four syntactic structures codes. These are not options, okay? This is still a part of the question. You just have to arrange them chronologically. Now the options are here. I'm not reading them, okay? One, two, three, four, two, three, one, four. No, no, no. I'll just tell you the answer directly. The answer is A. Here it is. A, one, two, three, four. And for your ease, I have given you the years of their publication. A Course in General Linguistics published 1916. Principles of Literary Criticism published in 1924. The Morphology of the Folktale published in 1928. And Syntactic Structures published in 1957. Yaad karlo. <laughs> I hope you liked it. I love the questions. Thanks for watching and for your own practice test book on GATE or GATE quiz program or online course for the same, contact TESS on 93878-39871. I'll meet you soon again tomorrow with another series of such lovely question answers. Thank you so much for being with me. This was Hina from Team TESS. Bye.